Here we go again. Night of Traveler with DM Greg and Triple J Gaming. Uh, last session, we finished the last flight of the Amar. Uh, we're going to be uh, continuing our adventures across uh, Imperial space, hopefully. We got with us tonight is Icarus, Danielle, Guff, and Calvin. It should be a fun night. Yes, <laughs> let us see what happens. I wonder yeah. if we're going to get tracked from our <laughs> misdeeds from our last one. No, I don't think we did any misdeeds. No, yeah, no, nothing. We did nothing wrong. Completely innocent. We do, uh, uh, I don't want to say this. We do have some new supplements for tonight uh, that came out recently on the Fantasy Ground store. I have the new D66 Compendium 2 from John Brazier Enterprises. And I've been rolling up some prisoner names for y'all. Your new soulmates. <laughs> <Where'd you go? laughs> uh oh. Not again. Let me get that table going. And then uh, we have the Behind the Claw, which is a huge uh, supplement um, for Fantasy Grounds and for the Mongoose Traveler, too. For my players, you can load it in your library. It's in this uh, shared in modules right now if you guys want to check it out. Ooh. Wouldn't that be like cheating? But uh, it's background, it's more playable player races, and it's subsector maps. It's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, there. really? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a setting. It is, yeah. The claw is the uh, the spinward marches in Trojan Reach area. It's the way its space is shaped from the third Imperium. So you have to follow the claw. All okay. right. All right, Daniel's. Uh, your your soulmate is Pretty Feet. Icarus. What? It is the Undertaker. Guff is did I did I miss something? Guff. How are we locked up? Like we're we're when yeah. This... Like what? Oh, and Calvin, you got squealing piglet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the Breakfast. inmate inmate names. Inmate we already names. know who. Uh... <clears throat> Who's in I wonder charge how he got that. I wonder. I just want to know how do you get the nickname Pretty Feet in jail. <laughs> I don't want to know. Why don't you get plow in jail? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> it's just... I I don't know. I would take all of those over the Undertaker though. You get that yeah. name for a reason. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Yeah. Anyway, we're not in jail. I just wanted to show off one of the tables on the the new D66 Companion. <laughs> But we did leave off in Pax Rulin after not technically recovering the Almar, but the ship computer, right? Uh, for the mega corporation, ooh, McClellan Factors. Am I, rem am I remembering that? That's it, yeah. Yep. All right. I, uh, we do not know uh, the whereabouts of the crew. You do not identify that. Uh, McClellan Factors is going to send out a search and rescue mission to recover the, the remains of the Leviathan class merchant ship that you had found that was crash landed. Now I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure. I'm uh, sure. I'm sure uh, they will not put two and two together that you guys blew the shit out of it on your way out. We tell them that we had to destroy the certain information because the people. No, were dude, we didn't say away. shit, dude. We bounced. We were like, all right, cool. Did that check hit? Yep. It cleared. We'll see y'all later. No, hey, everybody but uh, Danielle can't sleep peacefully at night because now they're not sure if the the crew was in that ship that they just blew blew to hell. No, Danielle don't care. I think Icarus would be more. Yeah, I say like Danielle's not. She's the only one not losing sleep. Uh, as you know, I forgot. Oops. <laughs> we just told him it was full of those eggs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They were full of eggs. Speaking of eggs, we've got something in the bowels of the ship still. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I'm not, Guff's not losing any sleep over this because he saw the film. They were turning on each other, evade, uh, obeying their scorpion overlords. Fuck that shit. As long as we keep him on the freeze, he can't control our minds. Yeah, you know, hive mind crap. No, that's. Mm. We need to find us 
a psychic to maybe try and control it. Well, Calvin's got a, a line on something, so that's why we're be bopping across space right now. We, we need to handle, install we Calvin, pain we're gonna handle shocks. His, we're going to handle his uh, business. But while we're on the way, I've got an idea. Let's let's cut him open, man. Let me get let me get my hands on some of that skin. No. That ultra. Yeah, I'll make no. you a pretty necklace. No, uh, no. Come on. You keep talking like that, I will roll the dice to cut you in your sleep. I won't kill him or it. You're going to cut her open. No, I'm just going to take some skin samples. And quit saying it's a him. You guys are uh, That's why I said it. It's an it. it well, she no, told me your name no, before no, you guys froze it's, her. It's it fluffy. Is what, it's fluffy. Okay. I made How a table fluffy. for that. One second. <laughs> <laughs> I got right, How goes thing? the cloning efforts? That's what I need the skin sample for. And the reactive traits of the flesh for yeah, lights for... and other things that yeah. You know. Yeah, if we could figure out how to weaponize that skin, that stealth skin thing. Uh, can you show me a picture of those again real quick? Yeah. They kind of looked like the bugs from Starship Troopers, didn't they? A little bit. Kind of oh, a weird manticore. It kind of reminded yeah. me more of the. Was... Uh, I won't say it. Lucas will see. Oh my! <laughs> I'm going back to shared predators. I got you. All right. So you see those little bumps on his tail? If you go to images and click shared down at the bottom, and then scroll. You I got, but I got, I got like everything I've ever done is shared. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, the predator. Yeah, I'm there. Here it comes, guys. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Lovely. You can cut off one of those little, actually, cut off his spike. Cut off the poison spike. I'll let oh. you have that for a skin sample. No, I don't want to, I don't want to main it yet because I might have to crack it whole. I don't know yet. Servos. How about you just let me get this? Let me get a. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, Sorry, that was my timer to go pour a drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll go pour your drink while I think about what we're going to do with this. We've got a long flight ahead of us. All right, hold on. Servos. Servos. What do you mean, servos? All right. So you use a magnetic servo at every joint. That is in a locked position, so the joints cannot move or flex. Basically making an exoskeleton armor that instead of enhances the wearer, wearer's strength and speed, it restricts it. And then we run it to an algorithm... And we put the AI in charge of those servos because it can't use its psionic powers on the computers. So even if we try to unlock the servo mechanisms, the AI wouldn't allow us. Yeah, but then you're going to give AI, can, I don't know. Mm. That like, sounds I, like I, a really great idea. It does. For a, it does. For a, a bad story to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I like it. To what end? Well, I mean, I do artificial like intelligence idea, is only yeah. limited so so far by the parameters. It's all limited AI. It's not true AI. And we could always hack the computers to end up regaining control of it if we needed. But... If we wanted to mechanize, weaponize these creatures, that 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 would be the first way to go. Uh, I or don't want to mechanize. If we these could, creatures, go ahead. What do you got? No, no, go, 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 go. Sorry. I was thinking more of the the reactive skin that it has, yeah, the yeah, properties like... of that, copying those and applying those to ceramic plate with nanotech. Uh, for more stealth suits, or even if we could find a way to artificially create that on a ship sized base oh you know deal i don't think controlling it yes maybe letting it sleep definitely 
the research labs we have on Insight should be enough. I'm just wondering though if we need to let it loose for a little while, let it run around in the cargo hold to get more data. So your little mechanized outside exosuit kind of well, works. we it, can reinforce what else, Calvin. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, I, I like your thought there, though. If we can keep it contained somewhere and try the servos. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> We're going to let Fluffy run. What are you talking All right. about? We're letting it free. We know, the bio, we, we know what kind of habitat it inhabits. We have labs that, we can, that reproduce that. We move the vault to surround a habitat lab. So it gets the exact the kind of, con I'm saying again. I said, I don't know the logistics of that in our ship, how we would move this creature. How big is this creature again there, Ref? We got a cargo. We're going to have to put him on some it's grab lifts size. and move him through the ships. I mean, is that's just physically possible to move him over there. I mean, that's just moving. Uh, it was based. It, it took up the space of two freezer pods. I mean, it's just moving pods around the ship. It's really not that difficult of a process. I understand what you're saying about wanting to harvest the stuff. Um, but we only have one. So yeah, if we I'm could. I'm not ready to harvest it at all anytime soon. First, I want let's study it. Let's, re let's, let's reproduce it. Let's it's, clone it's it or half, breed it. Half the size of an adult human. Half the size of an adult. Oh, so oh, then it would fit in one. Is much easier than what I thought. Cool. Oh yeah, then it would only fit in one. For some reason, I thought it had to fit in two. Well, yeah, it's just a nasty little bugger. Put a shock collar around it, and we'll give the sh the key to shocking it to Danielle. Except it can control your mind. Well, we won't tell her that it's hooked up to the AI. Got to give her a false control. It sounds like you guys are, are seriously it's, considering doing a AI psionic assist. <laughs> <laughs> or at uh, least no. think you are. But, <laughs> but I, I take it where this is this is conversations that we're having. Is anybody in disagreement that while we're having these conversations, we're making our way to the the next destination. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, all right, okay. all right. So, uh, I do have to offer you guys a contract. So, McCall and Corp, uh, you know, uh, they're they're the big hitters here in Pax Ruin. They are asking you to make a delivery to Fist. Um, you guys should be familiar with Fist. We've been there a couple times. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's killing me is that is a lot of jumps. Fist is Pinocchio Fist it is 13 jumps. Cheese and rice. How many weeks is that? Are we close to a... 13. 13 weeks. 13 weeks. That's if we... That's J2, right? Are we J2, right? No, J3. J3. Three. Oh, that's seven jumps. Word seven weeks, and we don't need to refill after every jump. We we Go can ahead. jump three times before needing to refill, or excuse me, four times before needing to refill. So we can jump into empty space. So yeah, if you want to, Astrogator, you want to pull up the the map there and plot us a course. Oh, I see what you're. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Can I get you a quick? Have to how astrogate. many? How many? How many jumps, Jeff? Uh, three. We we can we can we can jump. Um, we we can we have a J three, and we can jump four times. Hey guys, is this Lincoln game? Uh, is that open with the jump route, or just show you the map as I'm viewing it? If you hit the test symbol. I hit the the referee link, and it brought me in a map, a big old map. Zoomed way out. All right, never yeah, mind. Yeah, way the fuck out. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, I hit the the copy link just to see if it would do it. 
So we can travel a total of six squares before we need to refuel. What is this? Or no. What, what is this? Three and three is six. 12. We can move 12 squares well, right? before we need to refuel. Oh. Sorry, guys. I just found that there's a save snapshot feature in Traveler Map. Nice. Uh, real quick, when it talks about having augments done, they can be chips electronically or they can be things like biomutations. Did I read that correctly? Like instead of a instead of an electronic rebreather, you can say you had artificial gills installed, and it's at an actual oh. mutation. Yeah, it sounds right. I have to look up look it up, but like gene splicing. Yeah, and now we know what Fluffy's purpose is. We just need to <laughs> gene splice ourselves some psionic ability to control the bitch. It's funny that you say that because I am training science genetics right now. <laughs> With my xenobiology. Yep. Yes, I think we could save we could save one week. If so I can do it. Like we'd fo pretty much follow that path to Tredillion. But then from there we could just jump straight to fist with three jumps instead of the four where are we at right now uh pax room win i'll type it in game chat i'm fist i just all right so from pax room cheese and rice can you share the map Oh, yeah, so it's so big when I zoom out, it looks ridiculous. Um, I was trying to get some good. Is it uh, Trojan Reach 2204, or is it mm -hmm. Sector C? 2204. Yeah, yep. Well, that's going to be awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Getting this in game. It's four subsectors. Good God. Well, technically three, I guess. All right. Images. New jump. PNG file, new jump. That is not right. File, mm -hmm. save as, desktop, new jump, PNG, save. Yes, replace. So go, go ahead, man. So I was, I don't, I've never tried this. Did, hey, did you try, like, um, if you do that, share this link, you're saying it zooms all the way back out? That's what it was doing. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's what it did to me. Yeah. New jump one. Oops. I have a different new jump already in my game. That's why it won't let me do it. New jump one. Desktop. Oh, the, the snapshot doesn't save the dang jump route. Does not. That's, that was painful, too. Inbound. <laughs> you guys go. I got it in game now. Snip for the win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all I was saying is we could save a week. When we get to uh, about that midway, that that C in the mid near A, Albi, yeah, which is uh, it Cordillian or Cordillian oh, or something that like that. Right? That's C. Yeah. So from there to Fist, um, what Gus saying is we can jump without needing to refuel. We can get to Fist from there in three jumps instead of four. Because uh, you could just take some of that empty space and because of the double fuel tank, not need to refuel. Right. So that's six so that's, one, that's one that you could eliminate. 
This looks like six jumps with only five refuels. Correct. That's the fastest route. I'm with you. That's doable. Oh, you guys want to try it? Oh, the task chain didn't save. You guys want to try the task chain thing or do you just want to roll it out? I'll, I'll try the task chain thing again. Okay, let me set up the skills. It's going to be engineering and astrogation. Astro. All right, hold on. Wait, you said five refuels? Well, you don't have to. I'm just. Yeah, yeah, you have just the oh, you have five the possible refuels okay. along those Correct. six jumps. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Got it. All right. So we we jump four times, refuel, jump the last three. Or do we want to jump three times and refuel just in case? Well, we need to top off before that, before, at least at Cordillion, right? So we can make that final thing because to save that one jump, yeah. I was kind of going around all the dead. <laughs> We're basically out in space. All right. So so we make three jumps, then we refuel. I think you might have to type in the result, Greg. Or do we yeah. roll it from that? No. So what you do is this is this is a drag and drop method open only. So you'll take your astrogation die roll and instead of double clicking it. You're going to drag and drop it and release it over the astrogation. Oh, I, I smell you. I got you. Wait, there, is, there is a route, though, Guff, that'll take us through it. refuel stops. There's that whole chain of uh, planets right there. At... Look at that. That's one. Now, how do I clear it? Okay. Well, I, hold on. Don't clear it. Let's see. I, I cleared it. Oh, I was going to say, I would just see if re-rolling over Oh, it. that's a good idea. Okay, so let's go ahead. Success. Close. I'm about to change. Oh, Jeez, my it's nice. But yeah, see if you can go ahead and roll All over right. the astrogation and see what happens. Nice. So that's two. Oh, no, it's stacking. It doubled. Oh, okay, no. yeah. It's stacking. So let me well, clear them. Oh, because it gave me that plus 10 because it was already in there? Yeah, it's, it's going to be continuous, yeah, it's gonna be continual, yep. continually stacking. So I rolled a 9. That's education, which is a plus. 1 for me. Yeah, so that did, it was a 10. Let's go ahead and do a manual roll right now for Guff, and then we'll, that'll be 2 when we're done, as long as not snake eyes. Okay, all right, ready for our third jump out of 7. Hmm. Come on, girls. <clears throat> the chain definitely makes it a little bit faster because we don't have to add our own pluses in. Yep, and this is, at a minimum, this is going to be the framework for the trade. This is how he's going to have it set up? He's thinking that. He wants to see if he can make it a little bit more automated where it just pulls out the party sheet, but this is, at a minimum, will be similar to this. Dude, I... Oof. Yeah, I think good. this would be amazing for that. So you can just roll the die over it for the skill. Yep. But we, but, the modifiers. Yeah, what I'm asking for, though, is a uh, output. So it'll create a story output with all the uh, yep. items in it. And then I could drag and drop those items to the cargo of a PC ship. That's the ideal endpoint. All right, Kelvin. Now you got to refuel this bitch. Piloting. Not a problem. And that just added four more weeks? Was that three or four? Damn. That was a completion of four. Holy Dude, shit, 50 50. Damn. I'm telling you, 50 50 methodology. I'm going to okay. start a training camp. You need to start a training camp. <clears throat> So does the crit mean uh, he he refuels faster or uh, doesn't have to do it four times? Like he just ride yeah, that, that crit for all four yeah. tanks? We like core screw yeah. through. He slid in the front of the line of the refuel <laughs> at the depot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't mind us. We were here. It's just one of the, like it's, I'm flying through acting like Tommy's with us and he's just throwing the guns. Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure most people in this area already know, like, this is Tommy's flagship, so. One, two, three, four. Are we in, in Tilia, then? Yep. All right, ready to uh, rock and roll, guys? All right, we're yep. topped off, then. See. What happened? You yeah, dropped the skill engineer, but injured gear is required. Oh, wrong engineer. That's cool. That has a little fail safe. You can't throw nice. throw a um yeah, throw a unskilled in there just to test it because it it won't take the wrong one. Nope. I just but, tried to advocate, but it says you dropped the skill advocate, but astrogation is required. What, what about the unskilled skill though? Because that one that that you should be able to throw that at anything. Yep. Got you smart. <clears throat> All right, I'm not keeping that one. Oh, still succeed. Oh, I I dropped unskilled there. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! I rolled like... fourteen on it. Nine seven one eight five two. So oh my God. Hey, hey hey hey! Look at there though. One of our last few uh, jumps, Guff is like just drunk and phoning it in. He's not even using his J Drive knowledge. He just starts flipping shit. Like I'm yeah, gonna do yeah. this shit blindfolded. Not looking up from your from your uh, your tablet. Engage. <laughs> He's got a drone piloting it. <laughs> oh, oh, dick. All right. Yeah, well, the last one did fist now. Let me clear. This is the last one? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. I don't know, man. We've made it around space a lot easier since the captain's been gone. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. But I, uh, uh, <laughs> maybe he, he well, wasn't. He's not drunk enough to go play with the buttons. All right, guys. So go ahead and update your uh, training for seven seven more weeks. So that says I'm at 14. Yep. Oh, I thought it was six total, not six. seven. So, oh, yeah. We cut it off by one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, six total. 13. Yep, that puts yeah. me at 13. Anybody need to do some uh, education checks for a skill upgrade or holding on? Yep. Yeah, might as well roll it. Well, we set it to plus eight. one, right? Plus one yep. for the ship computer. Yep. Test of all these eight. That's an education check. It's eight weeks, right? Is what it yep. burns. Come on, girlfriend. Thank you. Yes. What do we get? Yeah, you learned something. Finally. Uh, science, genetics. Nice. Hey, I need some help in my lab. We're the the purple leaf is, I think, could get a little more, you know, just umph right at the end. Oh, dude, watch! I'll come in there and I'll help you out. We'll splice some of those genes, mix the two plants, the ones that aren't working and the ones that are. There you go. That's what we need. Then we can clone them. That's where it's at. <laughs> Then we can call it the purple clone. The purple clone. We yes, we bank in some of that training time for the remainder. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to. Right. I'm studying law books. Yeah, I, I screwed go. up and put my shit in intellect instead of education. What is your engineering skill checks based on? Um, I've been basing them off of intellect. You've been allowing that for the most part. Yeah. We should, yeah. Well, that's all right. We know next. There's a lot of stuff all changed for the next campaign. Yeah, uh, I like this I, guy, but it'd from. be interesting to make a new character, different personality. Yep. Yep. All right. Pirates of Drenax will be coming soon. 
and I'm, I'm telling you now, that's what I'm running. Oh, Are really? Running? Yeah. Well, oh, I'm yes. In. I'm in on that. Goes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's going to Fantasy Grounds for review sometime in April. Okay. What is it? Pirates of Drenax? Drynax? P-O-N? Mm. Or P-O-D is what they call it. It's a, it's a huge sandbox adventure, and it's nine adventure books. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. Allegedly, allegedly, you start off as low-level pirates, and you work up and build your own pirate fleet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Yep. Need to finish this run. Ah, uh, so a lot of excitement around that one. I think that's a Calvin parallel universe. The mirror. That's kind of how, that's kinda how I imagined him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it to Fist. What's the space like? Making the making the the delivery for McClellan. Uh, the holds of the uh, Insight are being emptied. What do you guys want to do while you're here? What's the place like? What's the tech level and such? Ooh, C. So hexadecimal C. Let's see. We didn't Orange. give you up the credits from last time, did we? I didn't give you any credits. No. no Tom, Tommy's Tommy. Well, we uh... haven't, yeah, we haven't divvied up credits since we've gotten Tommy, and we turned in like that huge bounty. We did. Yeah. <clears throat> so go ahead and update. Update. I guess the sheet or however you want to do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how he did that. I don't even know if I remember what we did. I think I wrote some things down. He showed it to me one day at the house, so I'm going to pull it up. <clears throat> Next time I mean, I I've got his spreadsheet. I just don't remember what what we earned. Uh, 16, wasn't it? I thought it was 16 mil. Mil, yeah. yeah. And then I know you have to pay for all the expenses and all that. And... Yeah, some of the, most of the fuel costs. Uh, I know you guys are doing some wilderness refueling at some points. Yeah, yeah. We don't pay for fuel. We don't pay for um, life support anymore. Oh, we don't pay for life support either. Nope. Nice. Nope. You're welcome. <laughs> I was just about to say, how'd we get that? And then that's what I was thinking. And it's real quick, so Fist is tech level C. Charlie hexadecimal makes that 12. Dang it. Oh, no, that's okay. I I did. I do have something I want to buy. 12 isn't bad. I just spent all my credits on Fluffy. So. <laughs> on Fluffy Chum? <laughs> well, which, by the way, I had an idea, but I haven't looked it up yet. Do they have uh, what? What kind of? I forgot. So remind me. What's Fluffy's power? I know it's some kind of psionic sci- power, right? Psionic. <laughs> Judging by the video, right? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the beast was controlling the crew, making like, them attack so each like other. Because nobody was attacking the beast, except some kind of mind thing. Yeah. So I, I was thinking of looking through. I haven't looked yet, but if you guys have, and you know, like, um, I know they make some suits that are similar to that suits that add oh, to your that protect for sight. Right. So if mm. we're gonna attach these servos, we might need, to, you know, we might be able to find that kind of thing here. That's a good call. Was the tech level here? 12, Look at 12, mechanical 12. car pace, tech level 12. That's basically what I was talking about for a servo suit to lock up all of its joints. But you can't lock up its mind, man. I understand that, which is why we have computer programs that are that we use as a, as a default. Man, I want that for myself. Because, like, you can't attack the mind of a computer. I think. Reflet. No, I don't. The dice would be bad. <clears throat> there is a neural sheath. Hmm. 
N E U R L. Immensely useful yep. at blocking energies created by and manipulated by scions. Dude, I think but we're gonna I, have to go to like a capital planet for that though. That's TL seventeen. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Dang it, I was looking at the one above uh, it. What about? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Not getting that guy. Okay, what if, what if I put a neural link in the monster and Fluffy? My bad. God, sorry, Fluffy. And myself. No. I Wait, don't like that. that like, you you're going to have a wafer jack. Installed in Fluffy's head and in your head. Then link your consciousness through the... To let it know, you know, like I'm his friend. Well, no, I think Fluffy would talk through you... I don't know if you could talk to Fluffy. I don't know if their brain waves work that way. I would have to hold on now. Okay. I'm going back to my lab. See, we're gonna have to wake Fluffy up though. Try to get a brainwave reading. All right. Gotta map some neural pathways here to see even if you're can be conjected together. I don't know. This is this is new territory even for me. I'm more into cybernetics and augmentations. Xenobiology was just a hobby. Well, now she just got real, so... Well, looking at what they have available here, we ain't going to find much of what we need other than that car pace. I want to buy some Oh, armor. you're saying you want to purchase that to rip it apart to modify. Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to pick up a couple of them, actually. Okay. Ooh, how about drugs? Yep. That you was fun. Those. <laughs> Not those kind of drugs. <clears throat> uh, uh, there are inhibitors which can dampen dampen your ability to generate psychic effects. Okay, so if we do that, we have to test it on somebody who's just riding with us. So as we're walking around talking this, I kind of stop and look at everybody else while we're having this conversation. Wasn't we supposed to meet somebody to get paid for dropping somebody off? Getting we paid did that. Did, No, we dropped them off, but did we get paid for it? We did not. Yeah, you guys didn't even negotiate what the contract was. You guys just started flying. Yeah. yeah. We, we might not have signed we, the... We need, we, maybe we, we need did, to check We might not have inked that deal. I was drunk. Um, so I was so engrossed in my lab, I wasn't even realizing that you know that all that time went by. It was freight. I was yeah. I was having you guys take flat rate freight. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right for the McClellan. Yeah. Well, right. somebody owes us some money. We'll figure that out. Hey, Calvin, do you have that last contract that we just did? Can you look that over? I didn't even take a look at it. Maybe there's, yeah. Wait, damn. We are slipping, guys. See what happens when Tommy leaves us? Well, I mean, Maybe no. the rock star, but he, he kept us kept us going. I mean, Danielle and I might have been at the lab playing with the Purple Wonder. <clears throat> so, so you did choose that name. Nice. I don't really recall. Yeah, yeah, let me, let, I'll have to flip back through it, man. It makes us wonder shit, so, you know, yeah. we we really, and it's like this bright purple. So. Yeah, I mean, the contract looks good. <laughs> yeah, the contract, too. Had all kinds of colors. Hmm. I don't know. My yeah, last I, thing I remember, I, I, we were picking up a bunch of shit because we went and found that ship and we blew the hell out of it. And we were getting money and we got the sixteen million. And then we were supposed to come here and we had some cargo. And I didn't even ask about the damn cargo because it was retrofit in the lab because of this damn cyanic creature. It's already costing us money. <laughs> no, we haven't left yet. Yeah, we can pick up cargo here. What are you talking about? We left yeah. like six weeks ago. Yeah. Hello, Guff. I mean, Guff. Calvin, you're the one that had the lead for us, or did we 
Was that the lead we just did? No, you're I'm the so lead. Good. I'm you're, the lead. You're the captain. Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we need to go to McCollin. We need we need to go to McCollin uh, Corporation. Let's head over to one of their corporate offices. I think we're, we're supposed to meet someone. Was that at Pax Ruin? I don't know. Well, no, that's who gave us the delivery. But they sent us uh, here. Yeah, I'll have to let me look back through the paperwork. I can't. Rem- We're in the right vicinity. <laughs> I don't exactly remember <laughs> what it was that we agreed to, man. Is what got a joyride through space. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <clears throat> so <laughs> when everybody was studying and building and creating and just riding, drifting through the waves of space, we finally got where we're supposed to be, and we're all like. Shit. Yeah, so Calvin goes and pulls up his tablet and he's flipping through trying to read back through it and see what what it is we signed. All right, you signed a 250,000 credit contract, all expenses covered to transport this freight for McCullen Enterprise for delivery at their uh, depot here in Fist. Uh, The tablet indicates it's mostly uh, industrial parts and electronic components. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, there wasn't much to it, Icarus. It was, uh, that must have been why we didn't really care. We went on off to the lab to do some cool things. But, yeah, so, anyway, we, yeah, we do have to find McCullen. We've got, we've got a little bit of freight on board that they, they, uh, they were going to pay us two and a, two fifty for it. So, all right, let's go, let's go see them and get that, collect that. So we head on over to McCullen Enterprises, or whatever it's called. McClellan. 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 I bought a dispersion jack. Oh, I was here. Putting some protection from some steel. All right, so... I found on this planet psionic shielding. Okay. Tech level 12. Give me a second. Copy. Uh, Oh, hold on. I think a simple creature who was a cyanosis would have a hard time penetrating that. Now, it's talking about shielding an entire ship. Uh huh. Can but we apply the, uh, the tonnage stop. to a vault or a, a, a specific lab room? You're making like a lead shielded vault, but yeah, mm. all six sides. I like that. What's I'll that do the math later and apply it to the tonnage of the room and use the cost of a vault, uh, to to get a final price. If you're okay with it, ref. I'm okay with it. Awesome. So we're gonna be doing some modifications while we're on fist. Uh, I need uh, at least two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. All right. Shore leave. And All Guff right. gets to work. So, so the McQuillan Enterprise uh, point of contact here in Fist is Frey Nimitiv. Frey Nimitiv. I'm the... Menomena. Menomena. Uh, you, you know... Short man. Uh, so brevity is is a virtue. So he is he is quick to answer and doesn't have much conversation. He's uh, quick to get the stuff unloaded and set up in the storage that they have here at Highport. Uh, so it sounds like you guys got two weeks of shore leave, huh? Yeah. What are we gonna be doing? Ooh. 
I'm gonna check. I guess whatever shopping we want to do, but then let's see if let's we can see make some quick money over here. Yeah, let's see if there's any bounties. Is fist uh, fist is an Imperium space, right? I think it's right on the edge, right? Yeah, it's like yeah, it's yep. hanging in there. Dude, let's take two. Okay, we got two weeks. Let's take the uh, slippery when wet and go joyriding. We don't have no J drive in it. We couldn't leave the system. We cruise around the planet. We'll find some pirates. Let's get one more. Uh, we already rolled that one. We took the J drive completely out of that guy. There yeah. we go. So he's got nothing. So the the promenade there has well, Spacer's right. Club and Lounge, Blue Burger Restaurant, Mac Burgers Restaurant, Starfire Jewelry, and Quick Tailored Suits and Dresses. Did you say Mac Burgers? I did God. say Mac Burgers. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> man. So I was on this one trip with Tommy years ago. I, I don't even remember the planet, but um, yeah. we hey, Let me grab a couple of these purple leaves, and you... Matt, we get, I mean, oh, it's, it's the best thing you've ever put in your mouth. We need to send some down to Guff. Let's go do it. They got ship dash, don't they? Holy shit. shit. You guys hear that? I think it's Schubert. They got a big thunderstorm outside. Ooh. Did you say Schubert? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so we'll grab us grab us a hamburger and then uh i heard there was a guy here that uh may be able to give us some some good cargo and you know i don't know maybe we could introduce a little bit of our purple leaf and maybe get that to be a, a thing here okay so some of that cargo in case we come back um, people, you know, we might start producing. I don't know. All right. Did you bring some with you? I, yeah, I got a little bit. You have to have a little bit to eat these burgers, man. You'll really, it's kind of part of the experience. Ooh, I never thought of that. That's such a good idea. I'm down totally. So, yeah, Mac burgers. Sounds and then delicious. while we're there, we can try and pull up on one of our tablets, see if there's some bounties in the area. There you go. There's got to be something they need help with in the, on this place. Let's see if I get a task chain for this. That's, that's kind of fun. A new one. Like a to-do list. Let's go hit the bounty board. That's what yep. A bounty board, task chain. I got a one in Streetwise. I'm gonna do computer and streetwise. I think I got skills. I have a one in streetwise too. I've been trying to get smarter, but it didn't work out. I got a two in computers, so I was gonna say I got I got computers too, but let me see. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Good God. And streetwise. And then we could yeah, close yeah. it out with a broker, probably. Our broker is wrenching on stuff, unfortunately. Yeah. You guys can research it, and then he could close the deal. Okay. All yeah, right. I can totally do come com. in on comms. Or we could have, like, we've got to have, like, a tele... I mean, I've got some persuasion. Like, like a 3D? A could... little holographic yeah. guff on the table? Yeah, holographic. Oh, there you go. Oh, man. <laughs> Here, talk to Guff for a moment. <laughs> Beep. Good. Good. All right, cool. Got the test chain set up. All right, so I'll do computers. Because you two have broker and streetwise, I have neither. Yeah, you got a one in Streetwise, 50 50. Where are you sitting? I'm not seeing it, but I'm maybe it's because oh, you're doing these guys. No, TC in the top right uh, corner. Yeah, the top right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. 
what you're doing is dra just dragging and dropping the skill over the, the like skill and releasing the dice in it, and it rolls it for you. All right. Mine's the same as yours, man. Go ahead. All right. Who's got the higher broker? Guff is our broker. Yeah. Ah, nope. Didn't make it. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. All right. So good to hit it with an eight. All nice. right. You almost flubbed the deal, man. <laughs> almost. You almost flubbed the deal. Almost. I told so, you to shut the fuck up sometimes. I'm going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> you, next time, tell them beforehand I'm going to appear as a hologram. They thought they were they were going to be meeting me in person, and that kind of soured them. But I sweetened it, talked them into it. wonder why I use society. That's strange. Okay. All right, so uh, the bounty contract that you find is um, from a, a As Aslan um, clan. Uh, they want you to receive their uh, the youngest son of the clan leader to bring him home for his execution. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. this sounds interesting. So, what do we got for history checks in comparison to 5e? Because you guys may want to know what the heck's going on out here yeah. in this part of the world. So, if you guys look at your travel, yeah, if you guys got your traveler map, let me. I got. Oh, I got one in game. I could share. Don't worry about it. Let me bring up the images from this adventure, actually. And there is a that last jump oh, was six weeks. Yeah, so we're sitting on thirteen weeks. Well, you rolled. Oh, you'd be sitting on five weeks. I'm at four of eight now. All right, here's a partial map of the subsector out of the book. So, heading spinward, kind of rimward from Fist, yeah, you'll see is Argona. That's kind of in the northeast corner, if we were to talk it in that sense. So Argona through Ergo is known as the Void Sedge Cluster. Uh, it is typically, if you can see how it's a, a nice group of planets, two, four, six, seven planets, uh, that falls right between the uh, the Aslan Hierarch. Hier hier I got to get my terms right. Anybody know what I'm talking about? No, I ain't got a clue. H i e r a t e, hyrat, and then the uh, third imperium. So uh, what what usually happens here is through interdiction methods from from either one of the clans, the Aslan clans. They'll come in and do a show of power, uh, try to take over local commerce and that that little that group of space, uh, and then the third imperium will come in, push them out, and then they'll establish dominance there. But it's this this confederation of seven planets that are just getting bullied by these two great empires right now. Um, but one of the clans and uh, the, the uh, Aslan clan system is ridiculous. Um, so there's thousands of clans. Um, but the Borderland Alliance, which is the symbol here, is a group of these seven planets. And what they did, they created this bounty get this they, they refer to him as the prince although that's a misnomer um if you know aslan and they want this son this uh this clan's youngest son to get returned because uh there is a large bounty on his head to get him there and he is in oregon typing it out in game chat Orgona. So we we need to deliver him back back here, or or we're trying to find him around here. And oh no, to the you are other. you are taking him to Daddy in. Tayoke.
Hmm. Let me give you guys some system readouts. There is Argona. And here it is. Let's see if I got Tayoke. And here's Tayoke. Who is it? It says it's five jumps. Yeah, on a J3, it's two jumps to or Argona. And then from Argona to Teok is three jumps. Straight line, too. So five jumps tall. Okay. Mm, I like it. And well, this might be a good time. If can we take five guys? Yep. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, I'm good. Me. All right, we'll be back in five.
Damn it. And we're Wait. back. Don't do it yet. Oh, too late. <laughs> too late. Dun dun dun. When the type when the when the countdown starts, I don't pay attention to most anything else. <laughs> All right, well, we are back. So what you guys were discussing amongst yourselves, um, you did find out. I don't know if I had said it, but I'll say it. I'll, I'm pretty sure it was the first time. The the run from Fist uh, straight to Aslan space is what is known as the Borderland Run for traders. Nice. Uh, it used to be a big deal to do back when before J3 was around. Uh, but now it's it's becoming more and more commonplace. But it, it's a badge of honor by traders to make that run. Let's do it. We got to get accredited. So you guys got that one contract. Well, I wonder if the inst the traders run. What is that? Well, the the borderland run. Yeah, the borderland run. It's just running trade from Imperium space to Aslan space. Oh. So, uh, if you know your your Aslan lore, they're uh, territorial, uh, an expanding and. Predominantly confrontational. However, there's they have an honor system, a strict honor code, almost like the uh, samurai, and they 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 hold trade in high regard. So they don't they don't care about who's doing it as long as you you treat them with respect. So you you yeah, at least they might look down on you, but at least they'll they'll work with you. Yeah, so we definitely got to pick up some cargo before we go on this bounty. Can't just show up and be like, yeah, dude, we're head hunting. <laughs> And they're one of the younger races in the galaxy to get uh, faster than light travel, if I recall correctly. I mean, yeah, I can work on most of this ship while we're moving. It's, it's just like I'm stripping down. I I bought the shit. I bought the shielding. I I can if we need to take the ships out and go. Like it just like we don't have to stay here for two weeks. I just need to work on this for two weeks. Is that a, the destination yeah, so where you're at right now? Who's got, so, uh, where are we? We're in Fist, right? You are in Fist. It should be tech level 12. Right. When, but where we're, I got a long-term plan for you, Dania. Do you? Study up on vac suits if you don't have it. <clears throat> but when we get when we get to the end of this journey, we we should be at a planet that we can find this uh, this battle dress that'll let you handle Fluffy. Ooh, I'm so excited, <laughs> and I just can't hide it. So, so do you guys want to do roll up any trade for this route to Organa? Got to yes. get get it going and make this Kessel run. All right, all right. Um, do we want to do that flat rate table? Yes, if it's possible. Uh, um, do we want to try to still RP for a little bit of the fancy? Which part? Well, I mean, I say we, we get the flat rate yep. and then try to get some mail or. Well, then I got a question. So yeah. in, instead of trying to find something illegal, what if it just so happened that we've recently acquired technology to bring a product to market and we could find uh, buyers for this thing that we have? That'd be pretty sweet. Um, and so then we can 
we can grow we can grow in our lab during flight and then find buyers on the tail end. You guys using you guys growing fast enough and and enough like uh, uh, what's the term? Uh, I guess quantity where you where you're actually going to be using your storage, your cargo hold as well. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. We have to kind of get into the genetics, Danielle and I. So between between my bio and her genetics, there's no high can, grade high high grain. I, High said, grade strains and sell those and let them mass produce. Right. You tell me, you tell me, mongoose traveler doesn't have a hydroponic skill. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> right. That's basically what I have. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. It would just be botany. It would be botany, right? So there should be science mm -hmm. and then botany. Mm -hmm. so and I've got, got genetics. And what do you have for? I have. A two in a profession called hydroponics. <laughs> I have xenobiology. So they don't have botany. And they have biology. So. Yeah, what I, I, yeah, I've got hydroponics, which is uh, I'm kind of using it like that. It's basically lets you grow things in. Um, not great environments is, you know see what it says yeah i mean it's like biology is just like this catch-all one it's, it basically says you can raise two, 250 credits times the effect of the thing per month but yeah, look, scroll up above, right above science and look at professions, Greg. There's hydroponics. Yeah, that's the guy. Where is it at? Science? No, oh, occupation? Yeah, nope. profession. Uh, profession. It's under the skills tab. Yeah, skills. but oh, it's okay. So profession. Yep. Hydroponics. Biologicals? Ooh, what is that? There you go. Engineering managing artificial organisms. Hmm. All right. Stuff to look into for Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is robot a race in that new book? <laughs> Let's see, there might be drawing. I don't know if they are. You be a dolphin. <laughs> they got a lot. They all left Earth right before it's demolished. They even got equipment for the dolphin so they could be in a. It's like it keeps them encapsulated in a water tank, but it's a, like a suit. <laughs> Thanks for the fish. Nice. Yep. See. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That may make it too crazy. I was just trying to kind of figure out a way to weave in the the purple wonder to the you know the story of tracking down somebody to buy <laughs> the illicit goods and tracking some, down somebody to sell the illicit goods. <clears throat> but some ridiculous races in here. No. I, I... I, I'm, I'm looking totally at the Martian down right now. Like there is a tonnage that is allocated to what you're growing, so you know you're producing at least an X amount of product in that space. What do you figure? What a quarter ton? Because oh no, it's it's it's, thing... it's like thirty or or sixty because that replaces our life support. Well, so some of it I'm growing, just growing moss, though, that's helping for the life support, right? Uh, no, you can just grow your green in cycle. It's the it's the entire cycle from, from birth to harvest that's, that's filtering the carbon dioxide into the plants to produce the oxygen. Okay. <clears throat> See, so we're going to have too much anyway. We got to get rid of it somewhere. Let's do this. What do you guesstimate right now? You've got what's your 
What's your first yield worth? What's he got, ref? I'd make him roll his, his botany check or whatever that he's got. Yeah. Uh, go average eight. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you guys could get up. Uh, you get the insight up to speed on uh, commercial grade uh, plants. Sorry, you have Purple. 15 tons. Purple. How many? 15 tons. How, how, like, yeah, that's the thing we got to figure out, though, right, is how often we would cycle to that amount. Yeah, when, do you, when does the plant come to maturity? How big is the lab, and what's the rotation between? The the whole space, the way they do space on the, on on designing your spaceship is based on tonnage. So I don't know what that equates to, like, an actual size. Uh, I know four tons equals a fully equipped laboratory. So you got to figure the size of the, the, the room is at least three labs, four labs large. I, I got to jump in here. I, I could... <laughs> I've seen a movie before, so I can visualize what an ounce looks like. <laughs> How I cannot visualize what a ton of weed looks like. Um, sixteen ounces in a pound. Uh, that, yeah, I'm right. Saying. But how much? Yeah. Right, you got to have a lot of space to grow that much organic material. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, that's. No way, not not in this technological scientific well, age. Right. We grow the densest. Then, well, that's there what are. I'm saying. We we got to kind of instead of worrying about the ton, we might need like an extra bump for. Um. Yeah. When people density, are looking for density, moon, density, vol- yeah, the volume is us. different. Yeah. So so you figure Our, it takes up 15 tons of space, which is 2,000 pounds a ton. So even if only like. 10 tons of that space is grow size and the rest is equipment. You're looking at like, yeah, a ridiculous amount because it's actually providing an atmosphere for the ship as well. So you have a huge fucking grow. I we're going to figure out how to put this on our pirate ship, too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out the mechanics for this now, because it's going to happen again later. <laughs> it's, the Insight 3 is like, it does so many things. Yeah. yeah if you look at uh, Biosphere in um, under uh, in, in uh, High Guard. Okay. <laughs> that's that's what it's going by, this. is the Biosphere. <laughs> but, I mean... How much shit do you have in this thing? <laughs> We've got a casino. I mean, like a every time, couple labs, every time we a, open a door, it's something new. It's a rock literally star. a house of wonder. It it is tonnage equal to the original tonnage of the ship. It's just reallocating space. It used to have a hundred tons of lab space. space. It, just, it makes it sound like it's Legos. <laughs> Take it out, pop it back in. Like, See, yeah. still- <laughs> if you think about it, like futuristic technology, if you think about like undersea capsules, that is pretty yeah. much how I'm thinking about it. it you just pop a capsule design. out and put a new one in. Yep. This is... So you're saying that the flora and fauna of the biosphere could already just be some sticky icky. Yep. And and throughout the, the the entirety of the campaign, Calvin has always been talking about having some plants growing in his rooms. And then as we've upgraded, as soon as we got the ship, he said he he started growing a deal. I I I can see Calvin like with you know like bandoliers. For guns, <laughs> but instead of instead of guns, they're just spray bottles, and he's just misting plants throughout the ship. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? Right. There, nice. Yep, that's that's canon now. That, that's head canon now, right? 
Man, I wish I could draw that. That would be hilarious, actually. I could totally just get a picture of our my company's grow. It's a million square foot grow, so the overhead view and it's all purple. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm actually gonna find it right now. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of product. Yeah, let's go to try to hustle this, pick up our basic freight, and go hunt this bounty. All right. So you guys are are herb freighters. Mm -hmm. So so here's my thought. What it, Josh? You might know this. What's the grow cycle? When? How long does it take to be till it can be harvested? Uh, you know, I don't. Um... But I have Google right in front of me. Hold on. Because it's if we lot. think if if we think about Honestly, this logically, like, you keep, move you move them every like three or four weeks. So it really keep talking. Okay, I'm looking this up. So like every four weeks, it, we would remove we have some amount. Yeah, we would remove ten tons, at least in my mind, ten tons of product out of the biosphere and into our cargo bay you said it goes 10 tons because are you saying oh, it goes dude, 10 it tons, be no 10 the, tons you're saying 10 weeks. tons is how much biosphere you use I'm well we have 15 10 tons, tons of biosphere so whatever the amount is out of that so i just can't just imagine the biosphere being wall-to-wall -wall leaf Right, right. No, so me, no. I mean, I'm with you. That's why I said it, it's it 15 like tons of biosphere. At so, the most, right? I mean, I, to me, I went I two thirds. We can do one third. A third. Five. Well, got, I think. Yeah, I, I, I could imagine a third of a biosphere being plant, being fibrous material. All right. So then it's five tons instead of ten. I went with two thirds. I, I, in my mind, one third was machines. Because well, we don't. This then I, this part I really don't know, so I'm not being facetious. You don't just harvest the whole plant. You 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 clip it and it grows back, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it, you replant like you cut the top off. Yeah, and then you replant that, and that that's the cloning. That's you're just taking the old plant. But no, once yeah, so one some plant's of the done, we're just losing. Right? Yeah, you're losing a, a fair well, amount. Of but we can also use. We can use every piece of it. Well, we, we can use yeah. the stock for rope. We can sell right. it as a hemp. We can use the leaves for shake. Shake, we sell that to the, the bakers, the candlestick makers, you know? And All right, so we're dealing in, um, oh, oh, the, what's, the, what's the fucking term for, um, we're, we are commodities, spice, and recreational drug traders. Yeah, because With come on, man. a casino on our boat. <laughs> it's it's space time. Like, weed has to be legal. I'm sorry. Like, it, it, if it's legal right now, it's legal in the future. A certain <laughs> planets, I'm sure they, they certain drugs are legal or illegal. But well, yeah, that's kind of yeah, what that makes I, sense. Yeah, that yeah, was textile is right. That was kind of my take. Is some places it might not be worth all as much because it's legal, but other places it might Where be highly illegal. It. And we can make good cash on it. Right? <laughs> Although we, we might get busted. Right? We yeah, might get arrested well, too. I have to, you know. If we're going to go down this path. like, But I think it would be, you know, it's kind of been in my head. <laughs> well, we got the lawyer. <laughs> He's the guy growing it, so he thinks it's great. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm down. So now you're gonna try to go ahead. I guess kind of the other thing I thought honestly, like at a game is it would kind of save us on some of the bargaining at each place. Like instead of having to find somebody to go buy an illicit thing from, we could just deal with can we sell this illicit We are thing? this we are and selling we the illicit thing. Selling yeah. It, right? Yeah, I'm totally down for that. Yeah, because in some places we sell it, it might not be illicit. Right, and we wouldn't, and, and so then it wouldn't be worth it. Would as much. Be cheaper, yeah. It would be cheaper yeah. because it's unless we had really good, you know, we can say, look, no, fuck that. This is what the <laughs> right. whole 
This is what the universe pays like for our shit, legal, okay? I'm not going to charge you any more than I'm going to charge homeless Harry down the road. What's what's the name of the strain? The Purple, Purple Wonder. That's yeah, it, Purple, Purple Wonder. Wonder? Yeah. You know, like Blue Dream, but better. <laughs> <laughs> What was I doing? Oh, yeah. See? It makes me wonder. What am I doing? <laughs> That's what it looks like in its pure form. <laughs> it does kind of fall in line, Guff, with your story, too, right? Like, we've been... We've been using this for our atmosphere, so we're growing something that's mm -hmm. eventually we got to get off of us shit. Yeah, no, what's cool too is not using lab space. Yeah, see, what I did is is I took we had a hundred tons of lab space, and then looking at High Guard, four tons made one full lab, and so we only needed like six labs. We were able to to just go crazy because we had seven like fucking seventy five tons of space just to reallocate to shit. Like we got a training facility that I think gives you a higher plus on your training rolls, but I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. I'm gonna say if I had a spacefaring craft that had a Garden. Uh, a garden. It would probably be used to feed my crew. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I, I don't know that the whole 15 tons would be product, right? Some of well, it. That's the difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's what about that Mac burger, man? We, yeah. did we, did we you, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be living on Cheetos and beef jerky for three years. <laughs> 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 We, we right. make enough stops that we can load up on Dan food. We ain't got to grow it. Danielle's cute. She doesn't pay for her meals. Tommy still does. <laughs> she no, don't I, tell him I, mean, I have his credit card. I think card. we actually did talk about that a, several games back. I think, you know, we were growing some nice vegetables. Yeah. To serve us and to serve the guest, right? In the, yeah. you know, and all that stuff. <clears throat> so that way we're self... Self-sufficient. That, that was, yeah, I'd have a self-sufficient. I mean, we already don't pay for our own air. We don't pay for gas. I mean, why wouldn't we not have to pay for food? <laughs> you, guys, you, guys, you guys are like preppers, but... Yeah, pretty much, but we're already prepped. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> we're already bugged out. I did and share the whole ship retrofit with everyone, right? Like, that's a, a document that everyone can see. I, I believe I shared it. Shared it. I I looked at it. Well, you did it with uh, Tommy. Yes, in the um, was it in a link? That spreadsheet's on the I'm going back drive. To it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going back to it. All right, I'm just making sure that everyone has it so they can see. You. Wait, there, there, pins, OneDrive. I'm logging in. This has been man, it must have been a month since I've been in here. Traveler's ship retrofit. It's in here. So I'm showing. I'm just cleaning back. It up. I see the library. That's what you're asking about. It just looks like a. You got a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> I, I'm just cleaning it up because there was like the money and shit. So. I state room biosphere three. Prefig room armory. It was a training facility. That's on the inside. It's on the bottom one. Mm -hmm. But does that one add to it? Because you, you were asking about getting bonuses to training. Yeah, I'd have to look that one up. I, I We put in enough space to train three people. Thank the you, concealed right. compartment. I love that. Internal systems training facility. Yeah. Biosphere. Biosphere 15 tons. 
training facilities. Mercenary companies based in ships have a particular problem not suffered by ground-based organizations while training office workers, etc. All right, training facilities cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what does it do for you? Oh, it's just a gym. <laughs> well, fuck. All right, well, we got a gym. I thought it actually did Bob. something for us. At least get stuck with a gym. Fucking gyms. They're assholes. It's got, My ex got, a, it's got a, stair, a stair stepper for Danielle. Mm, yes! All right. Change my mind. I like this gym. See, virtual crew, tachyon cannons, shit's weak. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like how I do like how you did this. Do we uh, do we update the slip room with the tachyon? Because I know that came up last time. Because it may come up this adventure. Double turret. They're both. They're on pulse laser. So let's give the slippery one with some tachyons, yeah, and we got uh, let Danielle. Uh, we'll let her shoot them real quick to make sure they're functional. Mm -hmm. uh, items. Are they? Large tachyon cannon, me, or just regular tachyon cannons. And there are two tachyon cannons on the far trader. That's crazy. Yep. You want to give us any guns on the insight? No, it probably shouldn't. I don't think there's hard points for it. Even though I think oh. by the rules, you can make them. No, actually, they ha it has more hard points than any of the other ships because your hard Jesus points Christ. are based on your total tonnage. <laughs> tonnage. Yeah, that's what's. Um, Need missile pods on that. Danielle, you want to get on a slippery one wet and, and... Yep. That's uh spacecraft? Yeah, PC spacecraft. PCS craft. Yep, there it is. Okay. And then on the weapons tab. Slippery. It will not give you your gunnery bonus, so you'll have to hit that in the modifier and the dice stack on the bottom left. Okay. For your roll. So check out your gunnery and figure yeah, out what it should plus be. Plus two. Oof. Why the fuck is it still saying minus three? That's that long range. I haven't changed the oh. distance. Yeah. Oh, I got you. That's the damage. Hmm. Yeah, the ones that do a lot are the uh, the DDs. Yeah, you want some, we want some DDs. Let's just up, can, can you upgrade those? Some I don't know the wording. Yeah, we want the DD6, 2DD6. I think I have one, yeah. I think I have one on my action tab. The ones that go yeah. boom. My heavy laser cannon is a 2DD. Yeah. I got a, my pocket nuke is a 6DD. Let <laughs> me make sure this I is a program. Because I, yeah. I think I've caught some stuff that was not programmed. The dice weren't programmed properly. Let me go. I have. I do have. Well, I do have high guard. Let's see what tech. Yeah, because I, I think it's on the core rule book, though. 2300. <laughs> 230. Tech. Yeah, cannon is. No, it's just 2D. That is what it is. Man. I thought I got Ion, not Tachyon. Yeah, you did get Ion. No. What's the sheet say? Yeah, Ion is 2D times 10. Gross. <laughs> oh, now, Tachyon Cannon, take, check this out, has an AP 10, so it ignores the first 10 armor. Ooh. Which is uh, a big deal. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, okay, so then I'm okay with it hitting that little then. We're good with that, Clayton. From what I've seen, because I do have other weapons on there, so no. Yes, I do. Oh yeah, it's two tachyon cannons, 
and yeah, that's... but they they ignore ten. They have AP ten, so it ignores. Say say it has armor five, it'll just totally ignore. It won't. It'll get negated when you damage. And then the uh, the only other laser is the pulse laser on the uh, um, SMG. Yeah, there were no other weapons on the Far Trader when we started. No, it was yeah, no. it, it was empty. It was literally what it was designed to do. Yeah, that one weapon to shoot at the ground. No, just Far Trade. Yep. Run. You so, guys may have been you guys may have been introduced to way too many credits as. <laughs> yeah, as the way the game rolls. I yeah, don't think so. But that's another another reason. Uh, I've, le- I've learned some lessons. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's not my fault. No, <laughs> that one's not me. I, you, you don't realize how much you're handing out until you see what your players are buying, and then you go, "Oh shit!" Dude, yeah. <laughs> so that that is something I I will definitely rein in next campaign. That way, there's a sense of you know, there's no stress for you guys. No, no. <laughs> was it like the very star, first adventure though, I mean... where we were panicking on that on that damn uh, grav boat flying over the waters and heading up towards like what was it, a volcano or something? Oh, uh, early boat, on. Yeah, we couldn't pass electronics check to fix it, and we crashed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Practically, that was a lot of character creation. So some of you were penniless. Yeah. Yeah, the cre- shorting you guys credits creates the friction to, for a good game, I think. Sure does. Oh. All right, yeah, well, you guys want to start... Uh, it's already getting kind of late. You guys want to start getting to a spot where we're at a... We can pick up and play next session, do some jumps, do a little RP. Sounds good to me. The blabber and looking at all this stuff. <laughs> all these new toys for it. Yeah. Didn't we, uh, you say it's six jumps to Argona, right? And that's where we have to find the little. No, it was two jumps to Argona to find the dude, wasn't it? And then six jumps three, to Argona. Three jumps to, to take him back. Yeah. Three jumps to take him to home. Yeah, I think it's uh, like, it's two jumps to Argona. I'm bringing it up. Oh, wrong one. Fist to Argona. Argona, yeah, two. It's just going to take you from Fris to Umemi, Umemi to Argona, and all three have gas giants. Yeah, there's so, Argona's a gas giant. So we're outside of Imperial space on this, but if we're ready to at least get to Argona. Yeah. Plot the course. All right. Astrogator, plot us to Umemi, please. Let me clear the task chain and you guys can't see jump and let me clear it it's cool that i could hide stuff so you guys don't get the oh, over, cool. overwhelmed yeah. so you can save like different task chains like for jumping you've got this save so now you just you not now you know i don't have to create it again it's always in my game and it, there's no limit and they're collapsible too so that way if they get too too big you can collapse your list nice oh you didn't clear it yeah, well, let's see what this is. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> uh, that has to go. That's, that's. This is how you end the night. Yep, you know, this is how you end the night. That was fine. You all die. <laughs> Fuck. You guys, uh, you're Clayton. Hey, you got to talk to Kelvin about that school of fifty-fifty because. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about believing, baby. <laughs> I'm right. doing a little better than fifty-fifty so far. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You're starting to learn which fifty you want. <laughs> I love when how the, even rolling snake eyes, it says marginal success. 
<laughs> All right. Well, technically, yeah, because you hit it, you hit the four. Cool. Um, go ahead and throw me a d6. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one myself. Uh, lucky ducky. What did I just grab? Oh, I grabbed a twenty. So I rolled a three. You got a one. So yeah, it, actually, it's three times one parsec miss jump. It's d6 times d6. Thank God. Well, I'm in the hexagon at the 12 o'clock position is going to be one, two, then two, then three going around, and I'm, that's just going to be the direction you miss jump. So one, two, three. F oh, fuck me. That puts you in Argona. That's right, girl. Did I just miss jump us where we needed to go again? That's yeah, literally, you did that, that, that once, is, yeah. That is, that is literally what just happened, because on a one, two, three, four is two jumps uh, rimward, and that lands you in Oregona. <laughs> oh, I have only missed jump <laughs> twice, and both times it's put us closer to our destination. Well, this one's like you missed jumping. Well, I got to see what the... I have a table now that we're here, but... Something might happen. Probably something with the air we're breathing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Doug, if the bio room catches on fire, I'll die in there because I'm just going to go in there and sit down. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh -oh. There are... As soon as, as, soon as the uh, klaxons quit blaring from the mist jump, who's at sensors? Tommy? Oh, wait. Uh -oh. Um, the AI, but yeah. oh yeah, we have an AI for that. That's right. All right, all right. The, well, the AI starts going danger. Will Robinson? Um, <laughs> of course, when he's not here. <laughs> there, you guys uh, start picking up a distress call f uh, from a colony ship. Holy balls! Let's see if I got a ship image for you. Is this a new no. ship? Yeah, I don't have one. It's off the core rulebook table, but I don't have a... Uh, maybe I have a... Is this, this a misspell? Is it a colonial cruiser? No. Uh, I'll share this. Because it's a passenger liner or a colony ship, I have a passenger lighter. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody smokes for free. <laughs> mm. I said jump in the SMG and go check it out, Kelvin. Will we determine that's only two, two only? Passengers, pilot and a passenger and a the flight and the light freight uh, fighter. Yeah, 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 it was two people. Probably be better off checking it out in the uh, slippery. Well, I was gonna say, why don't you go with him so that way, if you guys get close enough, you can do some scans or something on that other ship. I don't know if you can do things like that, but. Oh, yeah. I can figure it out. Yeah, I can do some sensors. And then we'll follow close behind in the slippery so that way, if anything happens. Anybody or you can just. Go ahead. Oh, uh, say so I see the I see who, who what are you making that sensor roll from? Is that from the Icarus. HMG? The SMG. SMG. Well, I need a piloting and someone to get them there. Oh, I was just doing a first scan before we even flew in there. I mean, we're in the Icarus. We we heard the distress call. He's got to prep it to take off. I'll I'll just look because we got really good sensors on the Icarus. Get prelims before you head out. Yeah, exactly. Send your drones. 
That would be step two if there was like an external damage and we needed some repair drones over there. All right, all right. I still say we have the slippery ready to detach because yep. because the slippery the slippery can't fire its guns when it's attached. Oh, sure it can. Yeah, Kim. Because of the way it attaches, it most definitely can. If it was docked inside, like the Bebop, it couldn't. But because it goes into that center ring, it would just have... Yep. It just can't shoot straight up or straight down. Yep. Because those do have a 360, don't they? All right, so Calvin, you flying? I'm flying. The little baby one? And I'll fly the slippery... All right. I'm just waiting Follow for results you. from the of the initial scan. Okay. So the initial scan, uh, you get in a humanoid life form from inside the ship. And you are picking up uh, some scoring on the ship from laser fire. Okay. Um, set the repair drones to automatic and climb into the ship with Calvin. Yeah, and we'll follow behind you guys. I know you're yeah. faster, but we got bigger guns. Chilly balls. <laughs> and as for the drones, remote ops. And oh my god, Danielle, fly. Oh man, hold. Believe in the 50. In the 50 that you need. <laughs> All right. Wheeling it around this thing. Let me give you a ship name. Now you guys are close. The tech end should be giving you some reference on that one. Oh, give me something good. Names. I love UD66. Oh, that's a hell of a passenger liner name. Dark Star. <laughs> I like it. I want it. <laughs> so we're naming our first ship. Dark Star, huh? Yeah, the passenger liner Dark Star in the system of Argona. Mm. A non aligned planet world in the borderland subsector of the Trojan Reach near the Great Rift. Try my communications. <clears throat> Try comms. Go ahead and give me a comms check. Should uh, set it to eight. Can you guys hit it from the SMG? The one you guys have comms? I do not. I have a one in comms. That's better than a negative three. Yeah, I do not either. Oh. All right. Go off, you heal. Hail the dark. Star, God. Uh, you hear some garbled response, and you're you're certain that you hear uh, as someone says, "Do not respond to that." And then it cuts out. Hmm. Do not respond. Um, scan the area for other ships. All right, checking the system out. So Argona, let me see if I get you some description of the system itself. Going straight off this then. Ooh. What are we getting into? 
High rate routes, anyway. I say we just give him our cargo and call it's it a single. Day. It looks like it's a there's a single star and a single planet system. So there's only one star and one planet. That's what it appears. Oh, yeah, it's a binary star system. Cool. So it's a. There's okay. three gas giants. No planetoid belts, a, a binary star system, and this one planet that is way out beyond the reach of uh, its gravitational pull. doesn't orbit around both the center of the gravity of the binaries, so that means it's way the F out there. It's not like it's spinning in between them. So is it a frozen planet? Likely to be very cold, yep. Okay. Mm. Do they have a high port? Yeah, actually, it's just a starport to be. Can we good. hail them from where we're at to try and say, hey, we have a, a lone ship out here? Okay, yeah, trying to send relay. relay send help? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, due to the uh, the distance where you guys are at, you guys are you landed in an unlikely spot in the, the high guard. Uh, so um, wicked chance this is actually happening to you guys. So yeah, you're able to hail them. Um, yeah, I would who, tell. Who am I Duff talking to? Am I talking to Insight or am I talking to the no the. SMG, I would get a hold of Guff and be like, all right, Guff, they said don't get a hold of them. Let's call Highport and let them know and get some reinforcements out here. Yeah, this this whole situation stinks. It looks like they experienced, like somebody was shooting at them, and I'm worried about somebody still being around shooting at them. Yeah. That'll start shooting at us. But I'll try to patch you through. Please hold. <laughs> Uh, nothing but static. Yeah, the, the the suns, man. These suns are just fucking with our comms, man. That's it, yeah. There's, just, there's oh, nothing I can do with these damn suns. Let me see if I can tweak your systems. <clears throat> you tweak something. The school of 50-50. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and try it again, Goff. I'll give you one more chance with the plus... Uh... Two on that one. Danielle's she's writing a new trajectory to bounce comms off of. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> all right, well we fuck. All right. Um, that was perfect, uh, really. Hmm. All right, Admiral Captain Low Boy, what do you want to do? We'd have to get the insight closer to scan some infrared. I don't want to bring the insight any closer to here than it is already. You're in the what slippery. You... Yeah, I'm in this. Work. Me, you, and I are in the slippery. Right. We'd have to remote pilot the insight in. Now, what did your scans come across for other ships? They're guff. I'm still waiting for the display screen. This is it. This is the, This is all you guys got on scan. Okay. Nada, nothing. Not even traffic heading to the high port. Huh. Hmm. I want to read the situation with a tactics check. Go for it. Military. Is there likely chance that there are still enemies about? It uh, definitely sounds like there's enemies on the boat. Um, what else do I understand? The the only way they'd still be in the system is they if they put themselves between you and a planetary planetary body or sun, uh, which at this point will definitely give you enough time. Yeah, because there's uh, or, a lot. Of or, 
or they've jumped out of system. That's really that's the only two viable options on, on any enemy ship right now. Well, let's go check it out. Relay that to them and let's go check it out. Yeah. Is the are you going to be able to park the SMG and are we going to be able to dock the slippery to is this it, uh, does it have a docking lighter? bay? So we can dock to you. Can I yep. can I scan for different comm signals? Like, all right, we we went out originally just trying to ping the ship, the normal, you know, hail the other vessel. Can I scan to see if there's like any sort of secondary frequency, like personal comms, like maybe this is a hostage situation or a revolt situation. So there might be a faction inside the ship that are using their own frequency. Usually, yeah, on internal communes, com communications. Go ahead and give me a check then. Nice thought. You better fucking fail this one too. I don't want you to, but just saying. <laughs> hey, hey, Danielle, tweak the computers for me. Uh, there you go. All right. Go ahead. You get hacked. Hack the. Hack, the... You hack them from here. Yeah, hack them, and then you'll do. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! <laughs> Sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. I'm not rolling any more dice tonight. <laughs> That's two the 14s in a row. That's two in a row. I'm done. <laughs> That's good. Yes, you uh, you are able to pick up Comscuff, but it is in a language you do not understand. What a... Wow. Okay, so I'm, I'm definitely muting our end and relaying this through our intercoms they have. I think there's an alien incursion in event, in in in, and my drones are over there repairing the fucking ship from the outside. Can we? Can mm. do they under? Damn, can, we, we need a can language. Can the ship bot. translate? Damn. Yes, that's what I'm, that's that. what I'm trying to think. Like, can the does the ship have like a translator? Because I'm looking uh, through my skills. I fuck, man. I wish I had linguist. Babble fish. Know, Where are the babble it, fish? When anybody you know one? any languages other than their Wolani or whatever it is we speak in the third Imperium? I, I don't think so. Oh, excuse me. Where would that yeah, under no, it's just, skills? Uh, my skills is just language and zero. But if you have language, what is that? Click it. See what it says. It just breaks it down into the other ones, the specific languages. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Right, but if oh, you, oh, I uh, see. If you got yeah, zero, it's, it's, maybe you could figure some of it out. Yeah. Do you, does yeah, it have right, 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 or at least know the origin of the language if you succeed on it? Yeah. Because that's how you know different languages is when you specialize in them. That's, but, another, that's a change I think they wanted to make in, in this game, too, is link that so that way we have it just like we have in D&D &D, the different languages based on the skill. Right. Now, just throwing this out there, what if uh, none of us know what they're speaking, but he is trained his ear in languages, maybe he knows what language it is, but he <laughs> just can't translate it. Yeah, if it's a if you have a language right. zero, I'll allow for the language role to see if you recognize the language. Okay. You know, just like I could hear Somebody in Europe speak a language I understand it's Italian, and you don't. Right. Yeah, you dumb son. Fuck you! I missed it by one. You know. How big is this ship? Like, what's the cr the capacity? <laughs> yeah, a quick uh, quick computer check of your ship tells you a passenger lighter. I just got the map up. Passenger lighter specs. Inbound. Nothing. Oh, what a change that difficulty weight. That's an easy. This is public a public information thing, so that would have been a four had I changed it before. Oh, so gotcha. check that out, Guff. I, I, I dropped the link right before you made that roll. Oh, all right. All I got was errors. Oh, well. We could send Buffy over. Really? You're triggering it? <laughs> This is this is the first this is my first session in a while where I haven't triggered any console errors. 
this, the code is really cleaned up on my end. I've gotten a couple. I can't. Nothing major. Like it still worked. All right. All right, Guff, what'd you figure out? Can we tow it with the Insights tractor beam? We, we don't have a tractor beam. We don't nice, even have a nice tow shot. cable. Out of everything we've done, yeah. we don't have a damn tractor beam. <laughs> Uh, we don't even have grapnels. How do we blow up planets if we don't have a tractor beam? <laughs> so it's got a lot of acceleration seats. You're looking at like 20 people. And then at most. like four for the staterooms. So you're looking at like 24 people on board. But we only read one person. That wasn't true. You read humanoids. Oh, gotcha, not, gotcha. Yeah, okay. not, not, there was no number associated with it. It wasn't that good of a roll. I got you. I, I wasn't sure. Um, um, we could totally take it. Like, I'm just saying, like, it was just, we could aim for the fusion plant and call the shots. Thing in I half. love it. Um, let's do it. I mean, we don't we don't negotiate with with xeno terrorists, right? Right. You, That's you the stance need to we're call taking. Your droids back. That's our. He has our bounty hunters. Yeah. Uh, can you run? Can I use computer to check a background on that ship? Like, if he got the information of the ship, did he get like? Oh yeah, this could have been in the Scott Services library on a previous scan. You go. This that's that is gonna. Oh. I'm gonna increase the difficulty on that one because that's gonna be hard right. to cross reference. All right, come on. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I, I saw the one six. Yeah, I was I like, saw oh. it. Do it again. Don't do this to me. Uh. All right. So the Dark Star is the local passenger liner here in system. I don't think it has J drive. Oh well, let's just. And we are in a system that we're trying to kidnap so, a kid from. Yeah, so obviously this is likely, according to the Scott records, is one of the transport ships between high port and low. But now it is it's on its it's it's uh its M drive is pushing it out of what, system towards what the What if high the guard. kid's on the ship, you guys? Like he got worried we were, somebody was coming. Which way, which direction was the ship? Heading in out of system this or is, in? Yeah, this is a good point because I want to make this clear. This, this does not have a J drive. It is it is registered to be one of the shuttle crafts oh. it takes between high and low port. And this thing is po pushing the high guard right now. Oh, no. Yeah, somebody has snatched this boat up. Let's get it. Let's, let's, uh, why don't you guys jump back in the slippery and let's go board this bad boy? Or yep, we fly closer to high guard and we prepare them. How about you guys fly closer to High Guard? Give them a heads up. Icarus and I will uh, go on in and check out the ship. You guys will travel faster. Yeah. You guys will get there in half the time it'll take us to get there. Even me. Shit, maybe even like an hour or two. To be honest, like it really shouldn't take too long. Does it have like uh all right and all that on there? Check it out. I will send a message to the drones that are working on it. And they are to repair and prep an upgrade on the M on the uh, M drive thrusters. 
effectively setting them to take their M drive offline. Is that possible at all? So they're kind of going to like hack them. Yeah, you want to put a virus in there essentially. That's, well, that's the way I'm, is that, am I thinking that right? I'm thinking they're squibbies. They're going to attach to the damn ship and remove the M drive. Like, remove it. Oh, you want your. Oh, so you just so want to you do don't it. Want, okay. You don't want them to, like, hard, hard line. Okay. That's possible. That'd be a remote. Uh, probably set that. I'm going to increase the difficulty, though. <clears throat> well, yeah, I had, I had sent them out on a. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, they were repairing, but. Gotcha. Now we're gonna cut the motor out. Now you're gonna, yeah. Now you're gonna. I mean, you think that's that, a good idea. Gonna, what if we save everybody on the ship? Then how are we gonna? We just gonna leave it adrift? Well, you figure they're repair drones, so they can remove it in a way that it can be put back in. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, in order to repair a section of a ship, you have to remove that piece and put a new one in. Okay. Actually, the way you're talking about, it, I'm actually gonna put this back to average because you're right. There's no difference between repairing and replacing. Yep. For a it, repair drone. Exactly. So it's back down to eight. It was worth a shot. Could have killed if, the motors. I, if I could award XP for that, I I, I think that was a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more hour towards training. <laughs> All right, yeah, then you guys board and we'll go fucking inform Highport. All right, Danielle, bring us in. Oh, shit. I tell you what, do a flyby, though, and uh, we I'm going to use the com ship's computer to use comms and shoot one over the front bow be like, here we go. Let's see how well I roll. If the difficulty was eight for me, that but anyways, uh, Dark Star, this is Captain of the Insight Three, Icarus Blue Sun. Please respond. We're on the slippery. Yeah, but I mean, Captain of all three. <laughs> no response. Shoot! Uh, open fire across the front of the ship. Okay. All right. So it starts the M drive cuts off, quits burning. And then at that point, that's when we're going to use Guff's. Was that. Who made that piloting? Oh, uh, Danielle. Ew. Ew. Sorry, Danielle. <laughs> Did you remember to add the plus one because of the computer software? Danielle, does that help? I see. I see a minus one effect. <clears throat> yeah, where's that from? Uh, that's because you missed it by one. Um, oh. What um did you did you you did not include the plus one? I did not know. Okay, and you do. You were able to get it. Uh, so that way, the I guess whatever umbilical system you have from the little light fighter to board a passenger liner, which. It is. Well, we're on the slippery. Yeah, we're on, on the big guy. Well, yeah. We're on the slippery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on the slippery. Grabbing it with the docker docking clamps. Yeah. Belly to belly on this one. Okay, <laughs> you guys are able to uh, to mate with the ship, create a uh, connection. You guys, who's uh, just start describing what you're doing next? I guess. Um. Ready and weapons. <clears throat> Poke your head through. Give a little speech. Hold on. Tactics or leadership? Which one do you think? Uh, tactics. Tactics, military. Yeah. Yeah, you two. Hmm. We've gone on missions together before. Yeah, you two yeah. are the only two on my combat tracker right now. So, I'm like, you guys have done something like this before. Yep. Like, after we blow the door, I sweep left, you sweep right. Sounds blow the door. Don't blow up our door. No, the door. Third door. We're not gonna well, blow the 
We're well, not going to well, blow it up. We're not. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. All right. Keep your as pockets. As much as in, I love your to, yeah, I I got that with me by the way. So don't I know you do. I know off. you do. While she while we're talking, you know, do 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 do. Set the seal. No. Enter in. Worst preachers ever. We are. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any flashbangs. I used all my grenades on the last mission. And I forgot to buy some. No, I don't even have weapons. So. All right. I'm going to get you guys on EMAP. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Can we use the light, the passenger, pa passenger lighter deck plans? Oh, yeah. That's where I'm dropping you right now. I made isometric squares on this thing for you guys. So I'm putting you in the ass end of this ship. And here comes the share. Uh, I said air. Deck, deck one, near the back. <coughs> so, oh, I guess this is technically where you're probably coming right around there, but uh, there we go. The uh, the lights on this ship are. Uh, hey, uh, try sharing that with me one more time, would you, sir? Yeah. The lights on this ship are dim. There it goes. It's just the emergency running lights. Um, you see movement ahead of you. Looks like you would be uh, currently in like the steward station back here. So what? Let's see. Initiative. Wait, no investigation is. There is investigation, but I don't think. Well, it says it investigate incorporates keen observation, <laughs> forensics, and detailed analysis. So. What are you thinking, Ref? What am I? Oh, for, for, like for a, a spot to see what we see. And what was the skill again? I said investigate. <laughs> we we're asking for a call on what skill we should use. Yeah, I concur. Investigate. I think we've already used that before for it. Oh, Ooh, nice. All right, so Icarus, for sure. Uh, you see just about one in three seats are filled with passengers. Uh, but from the second row from the front, uh, there appears to be an Aslan uh, kind of peeking between the seats right around here. Uh, with, with the weapon raised. Ooh. Shoot him in the face. Roll for initiative. That's under actions, right? Yeah. yeah. Character sheets are kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lock movement. I think I have to approve movement from here on out. Each square is a meter and a half. You get six meters of movement. So four. Tell Danielle about the dude with the gun up there. All right, you are in position. You do see, indeed, a dude up there. It's kind of like a Cheshire. Smiling at you with his, I don't know, feline features. <laughs> He's looking at me. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, Damn. you like one eye is regular and one eye is like really wide because of the scope. It's that's up at its face. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Let's see. Fifteen meters. I. Mm. All right, I'm throwing my nuke at him. 
<laughs> you, what are you doing? Yeah. You're going to blow the damn ship up. Don't, Don't throw me. the nuke at him. <laughs> um, all right, I'll try to shoot at him with my assault. There's people, though, right? Oh, yeah, so yeah. three seats are filled. I'm not sure. Do you care to drop some tokens or like markers on there for us for those, please? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, let me grab some asset tokens. So, oh, you could just put like a little drawing mark. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, this, once I once I get to the tokens, it'll be faster. All right. So here she is. Here we go. Boom. You know, there will be a social social. Uh, Distance six meters apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that looks good. All right. All right. I'm going to tell the person in front of me, get down. <laughs> then I'll shoot him. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh. oh. All right, that's First a miss. Tommy when you need him. Oh, yeah. that's, that's yeah. uncalled for. Yeah. That's not called for. <laughs> you guys need a singer to do your shooting. Oh, yeah, not wrong. Well, well, well. So he's going to do the effect of aim. What is that? Modifier, modifier. Checked aim. He's going to target his new friend. Mm -hmm. There it is. Auto pistol attack. Oh, snikes. Zap. Ooh, that hurt. All right, Acres. It's a gunfight. Ah. What type of damage is that? So that is off of a auto pistol. Damn, okay. Help me, Billy. Is it thirteen? <clears throat> I'm not gonna go full auto on this guy. I'm not gonna do burst. I'll do single. <laughs> I don't want to hit a passenger. Um, assault rifle. I can't aim, right? Uh, it depends. So you have a minor action. Is I moved, but then movement is another minor action. So correct. Yeah. All right. So or you could, or you could use your significant action to make an aim, and then that way it stacks to the next round. And then you do another aim, and they keep they continue to stack. I will do that. So he still I gets really another like plus one. So, right, so he gets a, right now he'll get a plus one, but then on the next round, if he does his minor action aim, it'll go to a plus two aim, and then he gets oh, to shoot. That's cheating. So, <laughs> take a, so check, yeah, check out the MD in the, the sidebar and for modifiers. Right now, what you're doing is doing a plus one, but next round for your minor action, if you don't move, you'll go to a plus two, and you just uncheck the plus one. Okay. That's, that's how you'll work it. All right. All right, Danielle. So if I just take all my actions and say I'm going to aim, do I get like a plus three? <laughs> no, well, you're my, or you use your minor action, that would be a plus one. Your major is another yeah. one, so put it at plus two. Next round, you do a minor action and put it at plus three, and then for your major, then you shoot. All right, so I'm going to do the first thing. Okay, so you're going to stack up to plus two this round? Mm -hmm. Okay, then go ahead and pass it. And then can I? Well, shit. That's everything, right? That's my movement and my action. I couldn't kind of like duck down in front of that chair in front of me. Uh, well, you do a dodge as a reaction. 
Let me see if I can't find how reactions work, because we never really use them. Here's the reaction rule. Well, I haven't really done much this. combat. No, we haven't. So, reading this, now this is kind of for, in context for the first time. This is a called, this is called a reaction. A trailer can perform an unlimited amount of reactions in every combat round. However, every time a trailer performs a reaction, it will suffer a minus D1 on DM minus one on their next set of actions. Um, so you can, as a reaction dodge, will inflict a penalty equal to his dex, DM, or athletics dexterity, whichever is higher to the attacker's attack roll. Diving for cover. Hey. H. Charlie made attempts to dive for cover from range attacks. Charlie dive for cover will inflict a DM minus two attack roll for every attacker who targets him in the combat round and may get a bonus to the armor. Ooh. I would say you could dive behind seats. Dive Makes for cover. Sense. Yeah. So, like, right now, this is like how it would work. I'm going to aim at, if you pass it to the, yep. uh, yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to say that this dude is Remember going to, that video we just watched. Yeah. I am going to do a plus one aim. <laughs> I am going to shoot Danielle. Danielle, what's your reaction? You say yeah, die for cover. Yeah, die for cover. <laughs> I was I, like, I did that already. But keep then, going, then yep. as you call it as reaction when I tell you what's happening, right? Got you. Yep. Then I click the minus two, and I'm making my attack now. So I got to aim plus one. Uh, minus two for your dive for cover, and here comes my attack. Whammy. Here comes the damage. Oh. <clears throat> All right. you, for, you forgot to also duck, dip, and dive. I totally did. Damn it, ma'am. <clears throat> now, can I? I can only attack once, right? Correct. That's why I'm, I'm reading what's going on here. All right. So, have, got my. Oh, hit, I see what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah, I was going to use my it. rifle, but I'm like, in here, in reality, I would actually use my pistol. There's not enough room to swing it around. So I pull yeah. up, aim, laser right. sight. Yep. Plus two, comes plus up. one. He pops Danielle. As he's popping out, shooting her, I'm pop, 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 and lay into him. Mm -hmm. um, does he go down? No, yeah, you look significantly hurt, though. You, that was in the good blood spray. All right, then I'm going to move because I had the plus one from the other one, right? Or am I out of actions? No, I would um, be out of actions, wouldn't I? Yeah, because if you applied an additional plus one this round, then yep. yeah. Yep, you'd be out. You can cancel that. Then it should flip up to Danielle. Boom, Danielle, your turn. There we go. You I dead? No, no. Don't die. I will. I'm going to turn around that chair and point at him and shoot. I'm going to aim at him and then shoot. Remember, if you take a dodge action or diving action, what did we say? That's a minus one on your next one, so it cancels out your aim. Okay. So you're at a plus two instead of a plus three then, mm -hmm. if I'm following along right? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I'm not. Because last round, he did his minor oh, action aim, it. major action aim. I'm with you. Okay, yep, so just plus two now. Come on, you son of a biscuit. Nice. Get him. Get him. Good God, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever shoot me again. Twice. <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Medic, is there a doctor? <coughs> I'll say that for real. Like, is are any of you a doctor? Are there any more bad guys? We've already shot. They know we're here. So, 
No point in being quiet. Yeah, I'm watching this tube enter there. Look back, be like, do you, do you not bring a med kit? Well, I mean, I can't really use it. You can use it. I thought everybody could use a first aid kit. On skill check, yeah. Yeah. I'm not wasting it. Are you dying? No, I'm good. All right. His first miss. Makes sense, though, because his dexterity is nuked. I said he's unconscious. Oh, is he? Oh, you should yeah. be. I think he should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it says, it says I can see what he's at. He's got, he's got two in any physical set remaining. <laughs> yeah, when you get down to two physical stats, get reduced to zero, you go unconscious. You're getting close, Daniel. Okay. Well, I'll take you. I'll put you on free move, then. Right, so the passengers, uh, they, they start to give a little cheer when they see this happen. They say there's there's another Aslan up on the up on the uh, the quarter deck uh, with with the uh, two two other humans that were helping out. You got this, sailor. Let's get them on the slippery. And let's get out of here and let's blow this bitch up. Is there anybody else up on the bridge except for the captain? The captain's dead. Captain goes down to the ship. Let's do it. Everybody yep. quietly everybody. get up. They, they killed the crew and they took the crew and took over. Yep. Yep. Let's everybody go. Get, yep. Get through the port right now. Let's go. Yep. Oh, well, that's everybody a good idea. So getting getting the passengers all out. All right. Mm -hmm. Did not think of this. And we, I should, I'm, I should and put I'm some leaving. passengers upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. Was, okay, so I'm pretty good with weapons. We're gonna say, and I do have this pocket nuke. <laughs> oh, overcomes. You've been, you've been waiting. You've been waiting on this one for a long time. Can I buddy. put it on a timer? Uh huh. And there you make go. It so it's long enough to where we can get away. But what about What's the cargo the, on the ship? Up? Whatever, I don't give a shit. They blow up. It'd be fun to watch. <laughs> you, take, you take a slug to the stomach and see how you react. Right, you're not going to be happy. No. Fuck these guys. Okay, so... <laughs> You've got to help me with this. Oh, yeah, I think... I think um, I'm what dragging her out, ain't I? She's practically bleeding out. Ooh, oh, God. yeah. Okay, so you're dragging her like, like, you know, buddy drag, but she's wiring a pocket nuke while you're dragging her, and she's bleeding out <laughs> on the ground. And I, I'm talking to Guff over comms, like, talk me into setting this timer. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You dumb broad. You're gonna kill us all. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just leave your ass here. What do you want me to roll? Uh, I don't know. What would help with like? I was thinking maybe electronics. I have computers, so that's what I figured I was gonna use. All right, you here. Yeah, re reprogram I, your Casio. Mm -hmm. I got rep <laughs> I got remote ops. I'm gonna tell you where to place it so it's under. Their power plant. Fuck that. You're about to sacrifice a repair droid. Call one of your droids in here right now. There you go. You're just gonna okay, you're gonna hand off the uh the pocket nuke to a drone and have the and the drone just hold its little bionic arm inside the <laughs> yeah, I'm engine. You both. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm well, having a hard time getting the drone to um want to do this because it has a, it's supposed to repair the ship, not destroy the ship. I would have to reprogram the entire thing. That's just not going to work. That's better right. than my vision because in my vision the droid walks in and right goes, "Oh, you press this button." <laughs> yeah. If I, if I was the ref, that's exactly how I would have played it out. Let's see. Uh, that that. The uh the bounty hunter from was it Rogue One? That 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 
the robot that was no, catching I'm the saving you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is drones, not droids. No, oh, my bad. Uh, not a sentient. It's not Lobot. I mean, I know enough about where the the drive is in this ship to tell you where to put it. Bitty bitty. Hey, you got you got it's a pocket, you. Dan- Danielle. You I'm just start it on the ground. Yeah, start and start screaming your success. Let the guys know. Let's get out of here. I set a timer. I'm going to hide the nuke. All right. So this back room was like a kitchen area, right? Yeah. It's got, you know, it's got like a convection microwave oven combo. Right here. This kind of looks like a sink. So it's probably got a cupboard underneath it. Like mm-hmm. most sinks. Yeah, I'm yeah. putting it under there. All right. Put it next to the uh, Ajax. Yep. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some bleach right there and That's some ammonia. <laughs> no. Bleach and ammonia. So that way if they... Anybody doesn't die, the mustard gas that I guess wouldn't really <laughs> form, you know. If you put it on the other side, so it's right underneath the drive. Chain reaction, that shit. It's a nuke. nuke. Yes. <laughs> and it's on the inside. All right. Let's uh, get All right. Yes, yeah, so all the passengers are now uh, on board the inside. Or is it the uh, the slippery rather? Yep. yep. Get All back, right. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get drag back. Get me, back. Get back. Drag get me back. to the chair. Drag me to the pilot chair. Drag you to the pilot chair. While you're doing that, I'm doing triage. Slippery's got the med bay. I can't get him in the med bay. Yeah. He's got a pilot this thing. There's a nuke about to go off. Yeah, I've got a pilot. I don't know how the you had it set at eight. I don't know what the difficulty uh, yeah, was. Yeah, I gotta look up. I don't think that's it, but we'll look it up. I think the med kit gives you like a plus two as well. Yeah, yeah. that probably should have been a success. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was using my or, or the trauma kit gives you the bonus. Actually, I believe we got one on the boat. Yeah. Okay. Danielle's Bye, pulling sorry. it away. Let's get out of here. Sensors pick up a uh, flash of light. And then nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> there's no atmosphere for a, a mushroom cloud. <laughs> no. How much but damage does that thing do? The reactor of the M drive and the and the uh, weapon weaponization of this thing is just it winks it out of existence. Dude, I could have created a black hole. I, I just I'm 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 curious how much uh, damage that thing does. All right, let's roll it. I'm buying another one, though. <laughs> All right, 6 DD. Oh. oh, that's to the assassin, but that's 268 damage. Or 270 damage. And it would have been to that freighter. Yeah. That's going to be in the combat, not combat tracker, but... Yeah, you, I don't think you could cross pollinate spaceship combat tracker I, to combat. I tracker. can drop that damage over. Let's see. I'm gonna try. Yeah, because I'm trying to drag and drop that to that merchant cruiser that's still sitting there and it's okay. not doing anything. All right. You, yeah, you can't cross pollinate. Uh, that but two two seventy would have at least. It would have. Yeah, everything would have been spaced. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good day. It was a good day. Is everybody in the back cheer? Do I hear a bunch of cheering and and screaming? And you guys are safe, but yeah, some sobbing, you know, a lot of trauma. Ah, don't they worry. Get the riding style back to uh, High Guard, wherever. Yeah, it is, I'll let him. I'll let him sleep in Tommy's room <laughs> on the way back, because even though it's on the slippery, Tommy's room is the best room. <laughs> so. All right, let's get you all healed up then. Medical checks is uh, we got got you stabilized. You should recover on a good check some uh, some physical attributes. I'm down to strength and my endurance is gone. Yeah, so <laughs> you should start healing your strength back up. Let me go mm-hmm. ahead and set that, and then we'll have to start doing some healing for you for your endurance. So here comes your from a medical. I'm going to give you your. Uh, strength back 
we're gonna have to work on some downtime to heal your endurance. Yeah, for sure. I thought I was gonna say like maybe if we got to this place. Oh, was that little dude? We gotta find the bounty. Yeah, was that yeah, dude? Well, we're, there? we're in system. No, this is all. These are all humans. Well, you don't okay. know. You may. You may have executed the, the guy. You have no idea. You go upstairs to find out. Man, you lost. Whatever. I I did their job for them. Yeah. They were gonna kill him anyway. Now. Yeah. So as uh, as you guys uh, pull away from the records and start heading back to the high court, um, you do notice on on sensors the Aslan cruiser comes to the high guard. Uh, long enough to do a system scan before jumping out. And that's how we'll end the session. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> I saved the crew. Yeah, we saved the crew. <laughs> I mean, I saved the passengers. I think passengers are more important than the crew. I mean, I don't really well, mean said, that like in real life, is, but you know, they were taken over. They were probably already dead. Yeah. And I don't okay. care who you are. One of those crew members helped get get them on here, so... We saved it, people. Yep. End of the day, we did good. Yep. We're heroes. Don't you fight me if I'm wrong. Yep. <laughs> 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 What's the TL level of the next planet of Argon? Or the system that you're in? Yeah, because I might or have to. Buy my, I'm gonna have to buy my bit, my pocket nuke. Uh, nine. Yeah, no bucket. But the place we're going to drop him off. Did we Is get it? We didn't find him. I think I did, yeah. right? No, you still got to go to find it. There, there's a whole mm -hmm. adventure around this guy, so yeah. you guys but are just getting there. But the drop off points are a 14. So, I mean, I, I got some plans for the end game. Oh, so I can get it there. Pocket is 12. Um, and I can buy more than one this time. Here's, here's tell you. Yeah, it's like level 14. Won't get much better than that. And it'll be. Aslan uh, technology. Well, we need 17 oh. for that psych. Oh, yeah. Psychotic. You get it out here. This is the Borderlands. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I found you a psych suit though, that we can get on the 14. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember. Right, also, cool. that computer that you're working on, there's, there's translation software, like translator software. <laughs> we might need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would definitely be something. Or uh, maybe something for one of the droids. Maybe Tommy's droid, since we still have it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I think he had a translator on that thing. We might have. We might have to. Uh, no, he yeah. left in a hurry, but we might want to check his room. Probably well, I know, in there. I know you no, guys haven't. I know. All right, so I talked to Tommy the other day, and I just want you guys to know, like, you know how he was on tour? Right. Well, uh, let's just say Kitty showed up again, and he's in rehab. Oh, man. I, man. She's not good for him. You weren't there to save him this time, Pad, uh, Cal, so. It, you know, it probably would not have been better. No, no. <laughs> let's but be honest. It would have just been a bill for two instead of a bill for one. I will guarantee though, like once he once he gets out of rehab, he'll fall back to his normal self. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we are. Thank you guys for watching. Floating through the stars again. I had a good time as always, guys. DM Greg, appreciate it. Definitely. Yeah. Tonight was yeah, a lot of fun. A lot. That was another fun one. Yeah. Yep. I was thinking that this has been a, that was a good change of pace. I like tonight. <laughs> yeah. Got you with the let's go, be quiet, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dying. We're not trying to fight. We're blowing them up. Uh, yeah, I thought about there for a second that it seems that there was more people up. No. Josh, on the money. <laughs> it was brilliant. Oh. Yeah. So I don't think, uh, I'll tell you what, there was another one of those assassins upstairs along with two pirate crewmen. No, I was not going to make it through two, two more people. There's no way. 
because that, that grenades. So that bonus only works on that target, correct? Like my my modifier reset for the next target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's focused on your target that you're tracking. Yeah, if that noise. <laughs> So, well, yeah. we, st we still, we still hot. I... Oh yeah, like if any, I was just waiting for somebody to say something. The... Well, I guess. Well, thank you. Yep. Yeah, thank so, you for uh, running it. Um, if no one's got anything else to say, uh, good night, everybody. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, I want to uh, remind everybody that next Monday night, this upcoming Monday, is Monday Night Brew with Triple J Gaming. Come check us out. Um, where we showcase a lot of the homemade products in Triple J Gaming. Also, don't forget that uh, Tuesday nights is what nights there, Rotava? That would be right after yours is uh, the 3.5 World Building Improv. And I'm still working on getting everything switched over to Unity. So we, it, it's tentative at the moment. Put I'm those things on your calendar because you might accidentally forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it happens that that monday night brew that that one's gonna be interesting yeah we're gonna see how that's gonna play out it's gonna be fun it's been fun last session was was enjoyable we had a good time and then hopefully if my players all decide yay i'm waiting for the vote this saturday will be like the season finale to the season finale? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like the pre-finale. This is going to be... Yeah, it's a two-parter. Two Thank you. Yeah, that's it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, hurry up. Watch the other ones before they get deleted. But I think they're on YouTube. I have to go look. But, uh, yeah, no. no. Thank you guys for watching, Greg. This is a blast. I love this game. This is my Star Wars fix, but just without the Force, uh, you know. So, yep. on a oh system man, that works. get in after you leave the lab next time. You'll have the Force. <laughs> <laughs> I can already yeah, fly. Thank you, Greg, man. Definitely, definitely. Fun as always. Yep, yep. All right. All right say good night, everybody. Yep. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. everybody. <laughs>